Hello friends. Welcome to Storytime at the Wilkinson Public Library. I'm Miss Rachel and today I got two really fun books about friendship to read with everyone. So the first book I'm reading is called Stick and Stone by Beth Ferry and Tom Lichtenheld. And it's published by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt in Boston and New York. Stick, stone, lonely, alone. A zero, a one. Alone is no fun. Stick, stone, along comes pine cone. Pine cone makes fun of stone. Won't leave him alone. Vanish, says stick. His word does the trick. Stone whispers, gee, you stuck up for me. That's just what sticks do. Friends do it too. Stick, stone, no longer alone. Stick, stone, a friendship has grown. They wander, explore, lays by the shore. Then thunder and rain, a loud hurricane, boom. Stick is wind blown, there goes pine cone, Hold on, calls out Stone. Again, he's alone. Search day and search night. No stick in sight. What's this? A huge puddle. Stick stuck in the muddle. Stone rescues him quick. Kersploosh! You rock, Stone, says Stick. That's just what stones do. Best friends rock too. Stick, Stone, together again. Stick, Stone, a perfect Ten to the end. Now let's do a song. I hope you guys all know this one. It's called The Wheels on the Bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. Now it's time for a really fun book called Pig and Small by Alex Latimer, published by Peach Tree Publishers. Pig and Small. Before this morning, Pig's nose had never squeaked, not even once. But since this morning, all it ever did was squeak. It squeaked during breakfast, it squeaked while he was feeding pigeons in the park, and it squeaked non-stop in the bath. So Pig got the big medical book down from his bookshelf and looked up squeaky nose syndrome. But there was nothing in the book about it. Pig touched his nose. It felt normal. Then he breathed in through his nostrils. They worked fine. 
Finally, he squinted and peered down his snout. There, standing on the edge of his nose, was a tiny bug, and it was waving and squeaking like crazy. Hello, said Pig. Squeak, squeak, replied Bug. Pig could tell by the way the bug was waving and squeaking that it wanted to be friends. So Pig got his tandem bicycle out from the shed, and Pig and Bug rode down to the park together. Pig couldn't help feeling as though he'd done most of the pedaling. To make up for Pig having to do all the work, Bug gave Pig a delicious cake he baked that very morning. Pig just ate the whole thing in one bite without appreciating the way Bug had decorated it. How about a game of chess to cheer you up, asked Pig. By the time Bug had made the first move, Pig was fast asleep. When Pig woke up, Bug had, Bug had knitted a matching pair of sweaters, one for himself and one for Pig. Although Pig said he liked his new sweater very much, he couldn't fit it over his head. Pig and Bug were very sad. They would tried so hard to be friends, but it just wasn't working. So they said goodbye and parted ways. Just then, as Pig was walking away, the wind picked up and blew a newspaper right into his face. And this is what Pig saw. The pirate and the ninja and the invisible dog. <gasps> a new movie. That's it, shouted Pig, and he scooped up Bug in his hand. Squeak, I found something that we can do together. So Pig rushed off to the movies. A, a ticket for one seat, please. My friend will sit on my ears. And just one popcorn, said Pig. Bug doesn't eat much at all. They were almost late for the start of the show, but Bug helped Pig to find the way to their seat in record time. Then the movie started. When Bug got scared, he hid behind Pig's ear. Ha ha ha, and when Pig didn't get a joke, Bug explained it to him. When the movie was finished, they walked home and talked all about it. They were thrilled. They had found something that they can both enjoy doing. It made them think of a few other things they could do together as friends. The next day, they visited an art gallery, and then the aquarium and the theater. They ate out at a restaurant, spent a few hours at the zoo, and relaxed on the beach. They had a great time, and they found that they had loads in common. Of course, there were still things that they didn't get to enjoy together. Bug didn't like playing catch, and Pig didn't like playing hide and seek. Bug always found him in a flash, but finding Bug took days. But there were lots more things that they did enjoy doing together. They forgot that one of them was big and the other was small. Best friends don't care about silly things like that. Excuse me, I'm Elephant. Can we be friends? Squeak! The end. Well, thank you everyone for joining me for story time. I hope you enjoyed those books and come back next week for a new story time posted here on the YouTube channel. Have a great day. All I will come, all I will come. Story time, story time. We will read together, we will sing together. Play and learn, play and learn.